Alright, Shalom, Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I'll give all the praises on the glory to Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Kakodash. This is Brother Emma One coming to you with another lesson for the Spirit and Power of Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai. I do double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and uh, you know, love and blessings to the Arkham out there that's pushing this word to you, Shalom. And so it's just a little one here I'm going to do just regarding Esau and, you know, his lies, man. Everything he does is in pretense, you know. He's going to, you know, he tells you, you know, he told you lies about the C-19 and about the V. You know, you know, until the max scene, as we used to call it. You know, it hasn't been a topic of conversation for a while, but, you know, that's what we used to call it, man. You know what I mean? Just the same way he told lies about that, he's going to tell you lies about, you know, the things that he's doing in order to establish his, uh, his new world order, man. You know? It's everything's going to be done under false pretenses. You know, the... the they they want this, they want this um, technocratic society. Everything you know, linked up with technology, autonomous uh, robots, you know things like that. And he's gonna give you say this is for your benefit, man. It's to make the this is to make the world easier to to um to uh, <clears throat> to what, what should I say to um existing, you know um. There's another word I'm trying to think. What is it? Uh, if it will come to me, it will come to me for the spirit. Um, but yeah. But he's a liar, man. Remember the scripture says, The thief cometh uh, not but to uh, still kill, still kill and destroy, man. You know, paraphrasing. So he's not, he's the thief, man. He's the, he's the wicked, man. He is the, the, you know, he's Cain. You know, he's the murderer, man. The son of perdition, the scripture calls him, man. Destruction. So he ain't here to do you good, man. The scriptures call him the wicked for a purpose. You know, Malachi. Book of Malachi. They're the wicked, man. That's their purpose, man. So any time they're telling you they're doing stuff for you, you need to, um, you know, reverse that, man. That is not the case. They don't do anything for the people. Let me read this. Jeremiah 49 and 10 says, But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. Right? Because everybody knows that the the the, the so-called white man, the Edomites, everybody knows that they're the devil now, man. Everybody knows. You see, everywhere you go on social media, you see people talking about them, calling, calling them out for what they're calling them, devils, demons, monsters, animals. <clears throat> um, colonizers is, is the one that... The, Newer things that they're calling them now. Because it just it is what it is, man. Their history is there. Their rap sheet is long. And everybody knows what they've done. And there's no hiding it anymore. Hence the reason why, you know, they still want to try and stop people from learning about these things. Hence why they keep trying to change up the, um, you know, the history books. And the, and, and the academic books in the schools and stuff like that. But you, they've already been exposed, man. It says, and he shall not be able to hide himself, and he can't because the information, now we're in the age of information with social media and, you know, the internet and everything else like that. It's so easy to find things out, man. You know, you got all these, through the spirit, you got all these slave movies coming out, showing them for what they really are. And they think it's really derogatory to us, but really it's derogatory to them. Because it's showing them that the, it's showing the world what to, what type of monsters they are, man. You know, you have to be the seed of the wicked to do the things that they've done. It says his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbours, and he is not. <clears throat> it says, Leave thy father with his children, I will preserve them alive, and let thy widows trust in me. It says, For thus saith the Lord, behold. They whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, and and art thou he that shall all that shall altogether go unpunished? 
thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So all this, all the stuff that they've done is coming back on them, man. The curses and that are going to come back on them, man. But yeah, he's being exposed, man. <clears throat> and there's nothing he can do about it. We stand on the street corners. Or not the corner. We know, stand on the street, you know, and we're professing, you know, we're cursing this devil out. And um, there's nothing he can do, man. Uh, there's going to come a time where he's going to try and shut down all the information. And that's not going to be his will. That's going to be the will of the Lord, man. It says it in the scriptures, man. Psalms 58 and 3 says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. And they that's and it just goes to show you that they're born wicked, man. All right? They are born wicked. That's their purpose. It's a nice little one in the Proverbs, man. I like the Proverbs because, you know, we like all the scriptures, but the Proverbs, you get them little snappy, quick scriptures that get straight, straight to the point, man. Proverbs 12 and 5 says, The thoughts of the righteous are right. Hey, if we, we're not sitting around trying to plot and scheme wickedness, man. All right? It says, But the counsels of the wicked are deceit. So they're counting when they're sitting around you know, the big tables, they're, you know, they're round tables, they're long tables discussing, discussing how they're going to manoeuvre things on this earth, you know, engineer their little plans and schemes, you know, it's all deception, man. Oh, yeah, you know, it's quick and easy, it's the way to pay cash now, you know, we, and, you know, they're going to drop the, they're going to smash the cash to bits anyway, man, so you ain't going to be able to, there's going to be no cash. Cash is really useless. There's no back in it. There's nothing to back the cash anyway. Hence the reasons why the CBDC is a, is the next thing in motion, man. And now you link that with the these um uh universal credits and using universal basic incomes, right? You know, basically a living wage given to you free for nothing. All they have to do is tie that into, you know, the chip, man. Now, so now you got your, you're getting your money now. But now we have to do it this way. We have to start, um, you know, this, this distributing this, this money, this digital money. So we need to find a quick and easy way to do that, and a quick and easy way for you to pay. So here you go. Now you have to take this thing. You know. And people are gonna fall for that, man. Verse 6 says, the words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. The words of the wicked are to lie in wait for blood, man. They, they, plot, they wish death upon you. <coughs> you know, they wish death. They don't really want it. They want a certain amount of people on this planet to keep the cogs moving, man. Hence the reason why you look at the Georgia Guidestones and it tells you on there, one of the, one of the laws of humanity is to or one of the laws of the new world, or whatever it says, is to keep humanity under 500 million people. That's that's seven and a half, because the world's at nearly, at nearly, according to their uh, reports, is at nearly, is about eight, eight billion people. So you're looking at seven and a half billion people, man, that they want to wipe off the face of the earth. Yeah. <coughs> Ecclesiastes <coughs> or Sirach in the Apocrypha 19 and 26 says, There is a wicked man that hangeth down his head sadly, but inwardly he is full of deceit. So when they're on the news talking about how it pains them with this cost of living crisis that they're engineering, by the way, 
just like the same way that they engineer all these stri you know, these strikes and all these NHS striking, you know, that's the National Health Service over here, and you know you've got the, all the 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 um the travel services striking all the, all the time, and the government isn't doing anything about it. They're not they're not meeting with these guys to, to try and to try and thrash out some sort of deal, because they don't want a deal, man. They just they want these things to go down. The society has to go down in order for them to gain control. So while they're sitting on the news discussing things or they get there and they can you know they're doing their speeches telling you how bad things are and they're going to turn it around that's they're, they're deceiving you man you know they hang their head don't they they don't they hang their head and look sad like they empathize and sympathize with the common people but inwardly they know they don't give a shit all right they know that what they're doing is by design 27 says casting down his countenance and making it and making as if he heard not where he is not known he would do thee a mischief before before thou be aware. And exactly. So they're not going to tell you. They tell you what they're doing, but they don't tell you in a way that he, they tell you what they're doing, but they tell you that what they're doing is going to be for your benefit. All right. But people aren't aware that it's the reverse of that. It's going to be to your detriment. And verse 28 says, and if for want of power he will he be hindered from sinning, yet when he findeth opportunity he will do evil. And that's the wicked for you, man. That's all they want to do is just evil wickedness, man. Because that's the, that's how the Lord designed them, as I've said already. You know. Micah 6, I'll start from 9, it says, The Lord's voice crieth unto the city, and the man of wisdom shall see thy name. Right? Hear ye the rod, and who hath appointed it. And the Lord's voice, we are the Lord's voice, man. Right? Through these scriptures, man. The Lord's words are in the scriptures, and we're the voice that have to bring, the, bring it out. As some of them camps like to say, bring it out. You know, that's, that's what we'd have to do. You know? Verse 10 says, are there yet treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked and the scant measure that is abominable? Are there yet the treasures, I never read that properly, are there yet the treasures of the of wickedness in the house of the wicked and the scant measure that is abominable? Yeah, man, because their treasures are, if you do wicked to get, if you do wickedness to get things, the, the things you get are wicked, man. He says, I sh shall I count them pure with the wicked balances? And with the bag of deceitful weights, you can't. They're not they're they're measuring they're being measured accordingly, man. And they're being measured by the wickedness that they're doing. So you can't they can't be counted as pure. Because they, they're not they're not they're not um pro providing or producing anything of purity, man. It's all wickedness. <coughs> First verse says for the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies. And their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. So the warnings are here, man. You know, and as you still to this day have people that listen to the news and listen to what these politicians are saying and believe on what they're saying. And then they go out and into the streets and into the buildings to vote for these fools. Well, they're not fools because they're smarter, they're wiser than these people. The fools are the people doing the voting, man. Anyone that's voting in 2023 is sick in the head, man. You are completely... <clears throat> um, what's the word I'm looking for? you got Stockholm Syndrome, man. Because you're a prisoner in this world, man. You're not free, all right? These, these devils have got you under wraps. And you still go out. They do nothing for you. And you vote for them, man. And it says... um. Verse 13, just to finish, says, Therefore also will I make thee sick in smiting thee, in making thee desolate because of thy sins. So they're going to get smoked. All right. 
all these wicked politicians and and, and above them because the politicians are, are like we're the mouthpiece for the most high and the scriptures man they they're the mouth, mouth mouthpiece for the ultimate wicked the elites of this earth you know these bankers and corporate bosses you know <clears throat> you know the world economic for uh um forum and all the things like that you know so anyway man just a quick quick hit you know Esau's a liar, man. You gotta remember that. You know, that's all there is to it. There's no getting around it. He can't he will never change. Alright? And he had now he has, especially in this country now, he has the other heathens working for him and doing his bidding, man. You got the Rishi Sunak and and Preeti Patel and all these other, you know, all these um uh other heathen nations doing the bidding, man. And even some of our people up in there, you know, but they're just gonna, they're just for the soul anyway, man. Anyway, <clears throat> Lord wouldn't have us fine. Just a quick one. Just getting on Esau and his lies, man. Uh, you know, giving all praise on the go to your house, your shy. And, uh, uh, shalom on to the next, uh, to the next one. Shalom.